Hey there, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com, and in this video, we're going to do a hardware tour of the Nokia Lumia 900 uh, for AT&T. Let's check it out. So here we are with the Lumia 900. Now let's take a quick look around the device. Let's start up here. There's your Nokia logo, a uh, front-facing camera, uh, some light sensors, there's your speaker grill, AT&T logo. At the bottom we have our capacitive buttons, uh, back, start screen, search. Over here are all of our hardware buttons. Volume, up and down, power is right there in the middle, camera button. Now the camera button is very flush, it doesn't stick out that much and it's a little bit hard to tell what is a half press and what is a full press but it works pretty well actually now at the top you have your micro USB port a headphone jack and this is the SIM card slot but we need the special key to uh, pop it open it comes out like that and you want to hold it this way there's your sim card and what's what is that a uh, QR code not sure why that's there or what that does but okay let's put it back together and on this side it's just straight polycarbonate pretty nice and smooth on the bottom we have a speaker and on the back we have your 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss lens and camera with an f2.2 um, aperture and a 28 millimeter equivalent wide angle field of view with a dual LED flash and the back is really nice very smooth. Now the texture, the way to, that I would describe the texture is it feels kind of like paper. I mean you know it's plastic, it's very sturdy, <laughs> but the te it's a very matte texture. It seems to get a little bit of fingerprints there. Now something else about the screen, that it's, it's different than the 800. It's very flat and there's a little ridge around the edges. The Lumia 800 was very smooth very contoured with the shape of the polycarbonate body. This one you, you have a very noticeable edge. You can see it over here too. Now I think the advantage to that is that it might protect the screen a little bit better say if you drop it like that. Now our review unit is in the black on April 8th this will be available in the black and the cyan blue color um, so it, you can get a version in this color this is the Lumia 710 but that's a, a good example of what your color options are going to be so you can imagine this in this color and that'll be uh, one of your choices April 22nd a white version of this will also be available in the AT&T stores not online, however. The black and the cyan versions will be available online as well as the stores. So, one of the special things about this is that it has AT&T 4G LTE. So let's do a little speed test. Uh, the speed will depend on your location, of course. So over here we're getting about 8 and we're getting about 9.3 download speeds. Over here we're getting uh, 2.8 upload, but only a very slow upload on the AT&T LTE. Now for benchmarks, we're getting some pretty decent scores. You see uh, the Lumia 900 at about 89 or so. So it's a little faster than a lot of devices, but not as fast as some like the Titan. 
Now let's look at the display. So here's the Lumia 900 right next to the Samsung Focus S uh, with their Super AMOLED display. And let's uh, check out, let's compare some of the colors. We're looking pretty close. Let's look at the blacks. Very close again. Both of these are on their highest brightness level. So we see a little bit of difference in the whites. Color ramp, very close. Slightly different uh, white levels here. Color seems pretty consistent. Now let's see it compared to the Lumia 710 on T-Mobile. This is not an AMOLED display. So we should see some differences here. You can see this one is a bit blacker. A bit better blacks on this one. Color is pretty nice. Now again, both of these are highest brightness and we see much brighter whites over here. Now let's do the... Now you can see quite a color shift with the Lumia 710. The camera, so far I've only done a few little tests be sure to check out the review, the full review, for some more in-depth comparisons, but it seems pretty much the same as the Lumia 800, which is good. Now the front-facing camera is a... this includes a wide-angle camera on the front. So instead of just getting a, a, a video call of up your nose, you can... you'll probably be able to see, you know, the whole person's face and uh, maybe two people. So overall, I'm really enjoying the feel of this device. I really like the ergonomics. If you hold it with your left hand, you can touch all the buttons with your fingers over here. And it's, it's really well designed. So that's it for our hardware tour of the Nokia Lumia 900. I'm sure to check out our full review. And that's it for now.